So over here, you can see that I got a bunch of files right here, and you can see that some of them are Word documents as well. So with Word documents, uh, if you were to go around and make changes over time, then what happens is that they will be saved. Even for images right here, let's say, for example, if you upload out images for more than once and replace it, then what you can also do is you can access out different versions of it. For example, you can go around on this particular file, and if you were to go to version history, then you have access to different versions of the file right here. So if, the, uh, if you have modified out something and so forth, you'll see it right here. Well, let me just go around onto this Word file right here. In case of Word file, if I were to click on it, then it opens up in Microsoft Word Online, as you can see right here. But what I can do is I can access out the version history by going around onto file menu right here and by going around onto info and by accessing version history, as you can see. So now you can see that there's version history of this file. So you can see an older version of this file as well and the newer current version, as you can see, just like this. And you can show to highlight the changes that are occurred as well, just like this, which keeps uh, a track of your uh, document. So you can save this version as uh, a copy or you can go around onto a particular file and then download the older version of the file as well. If I were to go around over here onto OneDrive right here, you can select out this particular Word document and access out the version history as we did with the image as well, but it opens it up in Word Online itself. But in this case, you can see that the version history is saved onto the left side. And that is how you can actually access out version history of files inside of OneDrive and retrieve out old files as well. So you can restore it, to this particular version or download this as well as you can see. So that is how you can utilize the version history feature to recover out files that you may uh, have thought that you have deleted. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.